ladies and gentlemen, uh, joining me on the show, singer, songwriter out of Kentucky. She has her debut EP out on the streaming platforms, Beautiful Drug. Um, the one and only Tiffany Nesbitt. Welcome back to the show. This is your second time on. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me on. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so it's great to have you back. Um, you was definitely one of the many uh, local artists that I've seen perform throughout the years. You was doing uh, smaller shows, you know, doing, you know, open mics type of shows. And now, girl, you make me so proud because now you got music. <laughs> You got music on platforms now. You you don't level up there, Tiffany. <laughs> Hi, Roland. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm super super excited about it. I mean, it's it's been a long time coming. I've been to want, want to do this my entire life, and finally, you know, the stars aligned, and I was able to get this album produced and recorded, and I'm I'm over the moon excited with all the opportunities coming my way. So, with all that being said, let's let's go to the early process of recording this EP called Beautiful Drug. What was the whole process like being in the studio, working on these songs, seeing it all come to fruition? What was the, what was the experience like? Um, definitely a dream come true. It kind of fell in my lap. Um, I've had, you know, Beautiful Drug actually is the the song that I wrote on the album and it's the, actually the very first song I ever wrote. I'm super proud of that one. I've had that one in my pocket for years and um, been wanting to do an album. I have a lot of other songs and I uh, just didn't really know where to start. You know, there's not a whole lot of opportunities in Kentucky. Um, there are some smaller recording studios in here and, and not to take anything away from those studios, but you know, being under the country umbrella, that's not real. Um, it's not really what they do around here. So um, I wasn't really sure how to get started. And I had a friend of mine, um, actually a friend on Facebook, who's a fellow musician. He's a drummer out of Michigan. Uh, Jim Marchuk is his name. Um, and got to give him a shout out because he's kind of who made this possible. But it was around uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving of 2021. And uh, he messaged me. He's like, hey, he said, I just want you to know, I just spoke with a good friend of mine out of Nashville um, that I've worked with. And he goes, and he was asking me if I knew of any uh, artists that were wanting to record. And he goes, you're the first person that popped into my mind. And he said, so I gave him your name and he's going to be contacting you um, so that you can send him some of your work. And I was like, that's fantastic. Thanks, Jim. And literally an hour later, if, if that, um, I got connected with uh, Gary Sadker. Uh, he messaged me. He's with Red Ridge Entertainment out of Nashville. And um, he messaged me and he said, hey, you know, um, I heard you're a good singer-songwriter. Send me your work. So I sent him some of my songs and uh, he said, I, I want to call you. So he called me and he said, you know, your work is wonderful and I would love to produce and record your album. So that kind of set the wheels in motion. And it was two months later in February of last year, 2022, that I moseyed on down to uh, Nashville and cut this album. Um, a few things that happened prior to that. I um, I definitely had to put Beautiful Drug on there. Again, it's the first song that I wrote that I that I just really love and um, means a lot to me. But I, I wasn't real confident that all of my songs were as good as that one. And uh, so I asked him um, if he had any local songwriters. And, of course, he has a, a million national songwriters at his disposal. So he sent me a whole bunch of different songs and I told him I wanted just a wide variety since this was my debut EP. I just really wanted a bunch of different types of, of songs on there because um, a lot of times musicians, um, they tend to have songs that kind of sound the same and not that I think mine necessarily do that, but I just wanted this first album to kind of give listeners a little bit of everything and to see which they like best you know, moving forward. So I picked, um, you know, four other songs that I thought would be a great mix of a great variety. And so we recorded those songs along with my song, Beautiful Drug, and um, had it ready. Uh, I think I got my albums in April or May of last year. And so finally was starting to distribute those out. I released them to the public around November 
Um, then in January, I released them January of this year. I released it to streaming. So that's where it all began. <laughs> so all these years you perform shows, open mics, headlining shows here and there. And I've been to these shows myself. I'm like, man, Tiffany's really talented, wonderful singing voice, very presentable, obviously. You know, you get you you always look nice with the dresses. You look beautiful. And thank you. Seeing being there for the early stages of your music journey and now Fast forward to 2023, you know, releasing this full length EP, you know, hard work does indeed pay off. And, you know, you got, and I'm pretty sure you've had music, fellow peers of music and longtime fans be like, man, when you gonna release the, this music on the platforms? When you gonna do it? Like, and you probably have to tell them, like, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get to it. Y'all just, Y'all keep supporting. Y'all keep coming through, and I'm gonna keep come. I'm gonna come through for y'all. Uh, this, uh, this, this, this is an incredible uh, record. Um, I definitely enjoy it, and I'm very, very proud of you, Tiffany, uh, for how far you've come. Um, and now it's like every, every time I go to your shows now, they're packed crowds. I'm like, man, <laughs> it's like packed. Crowds, it's like she she is star. She is a oh, star. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I mean, it's, I'm sorry. Uh, it's uh, been a long run for yeah. sure. A lot of obstacles, you know. I mean, I've 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 wanted to do this for so long, and um, just I think like with anybody's life, there's so many things that that happen that um, prevent you from following your dreams. And yeah, I've had so many deaths in the past few years, um, immediate family members. And, uh, just like right every time I'm about to do something great and take this next step forward with my music, somebody dies, something terrible happens, you know, and then I'm set, you know, there's all these setbacks and then I have to put music on the back burner. And, and then I, you know, I try to go back to music again and then something else happens. So I've had my share of, of roadblocks, not, definitely not, a choice of my own to put music on the back burner. But, you know, when you're a single mom and you've got two kids, there are things that, you know, are, are that take precedence over your dreams, over music, but I've never let that stop me. You know, I've never, ever let that stop me. And, um, I'm hoping that it's finally my time, you know, <laughs> I'm hopeful. Oh, oh it's, it's definitely your time indeed, you know, given everything that you've been through all the adversity, and, you know, we all go through different adversity. It's how you handle it. It's how you deal with it. And you kick adversity in the butt. And uh, here you are with this project. And, you, and you're and just doing incredible things. Um, you, 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 you're just an awesome artist, Tiffany. And so I'm, I'm so happy. That is coming out like, man, I got Tiffany on these platforms now, and I'm gonna give it a listen. <laughs> um, it's cool to have you. It's pretty cool to be able to just play your song, um, you know, on any music platform. And uh, when I tell people that I do music, you know, a lot of people do music, and and I, I, I myself have been saying that I do music for you know, ten years now, and it's interesting though when i'm able to tell them that i have an album out and that they can just pull it up on spotify or amazon or you know any of the the platforms or apple they're like oh really oh you're like that kind of musician and <laughs> it's kind of exciting um because that does take you to another level and it's amazing how many doors that has opened up for me already it's very exciting very very exciting indeed i'm joined with singer songwriter tiffany nesbeth um Talking about her recent, her debut EP, which came out this past January. Um, Beautiful yes, Drug sir. is the name of the record. It's available on all streaming platforms. That's Tiffany spelled with an N-E-Y. That's N-E-Y. Yes. Not nay, 
knee. Tiffany. <laughs> so just so there's no confusion on the spelling or pronunciation uh, whatsoever. Uh, so Tiffany, as far as moving ahead, you know, with this music out and people got the feel for it, getting these feelings per se, uh, what? Do you have in store next as we winding down to the summer season, getting into the fall months eventually? Um, you got any like upcoming shows, anything like that that uh, people need to keep an eye on? I have some super super exciting things going on. Um, so as soon as I put my album out, um, January thirteenth or fourteenth, I believe is when I dropped it. Um, I was a month or two later, uh, got the, the press conference, got the news. My, my Facebook was blowing up. I was getting all these messages and everybody was saying congratulations and I didn't know what, what they were talking about. And so I jump on and, uh, I was, uh, initially, uh, nominated for three Josie music awards. And I was over the moon excited because my album had only been out for about two months, three months. And, um, it, initially was three albums or three awards and then uh, about a week or two later they came back and told me that I had another award that I was nominated for the Josie's so it turned out um, that right now I'm up for four Josie awards and that's the uh, Josie is the largest independent music awards in the nation uh, so if you're not signed by a label this is the biggest honor the biggest award you can get and I'm super, super thrilled. I couldn't believe it. I, I think I almost had a nervous breakdown because, <laughs> you know, I've, I've had friends on Facebook for years. And every year I see people get nominated for Josie Awards. And I'm always like, one day that's going to be me. One day that's going to be me. Um, but I've, I've never actually seen anybody nominated for four. So I was really taken aback. And um, I'm up for a Rising Star of the Year, Vocalist of the Year for Female Country, Song of the Year, that song that I wrote, Kenny, the beautiful drug song, is up for yeah. Song of the Year. And then the last award um, that I was up for uh, is EP of the Year. I mean, I'm just so excited. And that award show is at the Grand Old Opry, which is, you know, country music's most prized stage <laughs> is the Grand Old Opry. Um, it's in October. It's October 22nd is that award show. So I'm I'm manifesting and I'm saying that I'm a, I'm gonna at least walk across that stage and accept one hopefully. <laughs> um, so that that those awards actually spurred on this next amazing thing that I'm about to tell you okay. about the doors opening up. So um, I I once I got that fourth nomination I thought it would be great to call up Mr. Gary Sidecker at Red Ridge Entertainment and tell him that our album that you know, that we produced together, that we did together was up for four awards. So I called him up and I was like, Gary, you're not going to believe this. I'm up for four awards. And he was like, that's amazing. He said, let me have, he said, I just took on a new partner. Let me have my partner give you a call um, so we can, you know, talk about this further. So uh, his uh, partner, Jackson Harris out of Nashville, gave me a buzz and we got to talking and I told him about some plans and goals and dreams that I had. And I can't tell you a whole lot. I'm just gonna, I, I can tell you just enough to get you excited and to look forward to it. But other than that, I can't give you the deets. But um, I am currently in the process of working on a film. And I am over the moon excited about this film. And the plan is uh, for it to go to streaming, uh, like, you know, Amazon, uh, exam for example, Netflix, depending on who we can get to pick it up. But um, definitely on Amazon if we don't have a network pick it up. But uh, that's supposed to be the beginning of the year next year. We hope to have this film ready. But it's super, super exciting. Um, I've already spent um, our first uh, week of filming was in Nashville a few weeks ago. Um, and we've got a few more weeks coming up over the next few months that we're going to film. And um, that being said, I'm very sad to say I do not have any performances coming up in the next few months because I'm working on this film and it's literally taking up all of my free time. <laughs> but, 
super I'm, I'm sure i will throw in a show here or there i just don't have one scheduled at the moment um because i'm really putting my all into the film i'm very very thrilled about it and um i will have more details coming soon when i'm allowed to talk about it <laughs> you know what you gave me exactly all i needed just to be excited so let me say <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this or not, but this is me clapping, applauding to multi, multi-time multi award-nominated Tiffany Nesbeth and now an actress on a yes. film to be a release in the future. Man. So... That, oh, congrats. To Thank that. you so much. Um, I'm, I'm excited. And all this from like, you know, this one little EP, uh, you know, I, I, um, I know that albums can take you places, but uh, I guess I just didn't expect so many things to happen all at once. And it really just, I really needed that, you know, Kenny, because like I said, this has been such a long road for me to get here. And I've, I've waited so long for this moment. And so for, things to kind of just fall into place and the next thing opening the door for the next thing opening the door for the next thing is is really really encouraging and i hope that all you listeners out there i truly truly hope that if you have a dream that you don't stop you know obviously sometimes you have to put it on the back burner but don't take it off the burners you know like keep it on the warmer um and always try to come back to it and i just really want to encourage people to do that because you know, if there's something that you are so passionate about, something that makes you happy, nothing on nothing makes me as happy as I am when I'm on stage. And that's just, I've known that since I was like four years old, that that's all I wanted to do. And of course, you know, real life steps in and you have to pay the bills and you have to take care of your kids and, um, you know, deal with real life. But you've got to make time for your dreams. And, and sometimes, Sometimes it just kind of all falls into place at the right time. And I think that's really what it was, Kenny. I think it was like just not my time. You know, I think that um, some people can do music at a younger age. And I think some people aren't ready to do music till they're older. And I think I just think that uh, um, not to not to really throw religion into it. Cause I don't really think it's necessarily a religious thing. But um, God's timing is perfect. If you want to call it the universe, if you don't believe in God, the universe's timing is perfect. And I feel like it's just my time, and I'm I'm really grateful that I didn't throw in the towel, you know, because there's some exciting things coming down the road. <laughs> oh, you said it, but it, you know, you said it. Things happen for a reason, and sometimes you know, good things happen to those who wait. Of course, you're going through adversity just to get to this point. But the, all that manifestation that you were just talking, yes. it is coming to fruition. Award yes. nominations. Now you in a film that's going to be on a streaming platforms in the foreseeable future. I think it's fair to say that Tiffany Nesbeth is is coming. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> coming literally. <laughs> Coming for your TVs. <laughs> Coming for the TVs, yes. So <laughs> check out Tiffany on while us Kentuckians wait for her to complete this incredible film. You can continue your support by streaming her award nominating EP, Beautiful Draw. It's on all the yeah. platforms. Um, so she ain't, she won't be performing for a while, but it's within good reason. So when you got a film to shoot, you ain't okay. saying no to that. You get a chance no. to dress up. You get a chance to, to, to elevate per se. So us adoring fans here in Kentucky, just gonna have to wait. But <laughs> she is coming back once everything is complete. Uh, so keep the numbers up for Beautiful Drug. And if you're in the Nashville area in October, go check out the Josie Music Awards. 
If that's one thing I know about Tiffany, if that's one thing we all know about Tiffany, she steals the show with her dresses. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you. Tiffany for your support throughout the years and it's just I'm just proud of you for everything you have accomplished and um, I wish you continued happiness and I'm pretty sure we will cross paths let's say in the fall at least let's just say tentatively in the fall cuz that you sounds great cuz I more information I'll probably be able to give you a lot more information about the movie and yeah. um, I've got that I'm working on I plan on being back in the studio by the end of the year for another album so I didn't even throw that in there. I'm so excited about the film. But yes, I've got I'm gonna be working on another album and yeah, so let's do that in the fall. I'll have more info. Thank you so much for being so so good to me, for coming to my shows all these years and being such a good fan and including me on your shows. It's it's really a privilege and an honor and I thank you so much. Thank you, Tiffany. You enjoy your Tuesday evening, enjoy your week, and thanks again. Thank you. Good night. Bye, right. right, good night. <laughs> All right.